Hey man, what it is? This is Dame and I am your host and this is by any means. There go the cash app, dollar sign Dame by any means. Y'all know that's the best way to donate. <laughs> There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. I want to say, man, I appreciate all y'all be showing love so much. So this is why I'm making this video. Hey, you right there. Um, don't be an eavesdropper. Y'all some eavesdropping boy. Y'all be eavesdropping like crap. Can you hit the like button? Can you do me that? If you ain't gonna send um cash apps, um, PayPal's and super chats, can you hit the like button, please? Don't get this free game for nothing. Who more entertaining than me? Huh? 40 mil bill is what they call them. What you're going to do when 50K is all you do? You're going to retire. But let me, let, let, let me stop. Let me, let me, let me, let me stop. Boxing community, public service announcement. I have something that I need to talk to y'all about. That's very important and near and dear to my heart. And is why I started this YouTube channel. Fighters, can y'all please stop lying to the public and to your fans? Can y'all please stop? Everything is not a duck. Fighters, stop acting like y'all don't know the real and then get to the public and lie to the public like you don't know things ain't just that simple as send a contract. As I'll fight him, as he ducked me. As I'm his mandatory. Let's talk about it, y'all. See, do you love boxing or do you love the drama of boxing? What I've, what me coming into this boxing community is, is similar to... Y'all, I left battle rap because it was too much drama and too much BS. And the thing about battle rap is that that stuff will kind of leak over into the streets. And somebody will get hurt playing with me, um, personally. You dig what I'm saying? Um and so I try not to put myself in that position. That's what real tough guys do. We see a problem that could be on the horizon, and not because I won't give you all the smoke. The smoke not really worth it. It's not worth me being away from my daughters. It ain't worth me being away from my friends. I believe I got some of the best friends a person can ask for. Absolutely. Um, it's not worth it. Fighters, you ain't got to lie to get to the top. You ain't got to fake it to get to the top. You ain't got to do what Keyshawn Davis did to Abdullah Mason to be successful. You can't say that you love boxing, but you don't understand or, or aren't okay with the business of boxing, but then sit up there and say that you want the fights to happen. You understand in order for the fights to happen, people got to get paid for that to happen. If you understand that, then stop acting like you don't understand that. If you understand, type understand. It's never as simple as just sending a contract. And y'all all know that. And fighters, I will please like if y'all stop going around here acting like it's just, you can't just send the contract. You're not your manager. You don't own no promotional company. You don't got dates set up with networks. And when y'all act like y'all don't know that, like let's say y'all, a fighter they want to fight gets suspended because he had a fight, right? The other fighter that wants to fight him knows that he can't fight for six, seven months. But to say the whole six, seven months that that person is ducking you when he's not even available to fight you. He couldn't fight you right now if he wanted to. Stop with the BS and boxing, dog. Y'all can't help yourself. It's like big children, like a, like a big high school. Y'all know better. Do you know who knows better? The fighters know better. Keyshawn Davis know that when you are up in your resume and you just start boxing, they're not going to throw the best fighters in boxing at you. You're not going to be one and no and fight Canelo. Y'all all know that. So why stop? Why downplay Abdullah Mason and who he's for in the beginning of his career? Like I can go to every single boxer ever that ever existed, go to the beginning of their career. I guarantee the first 10 fighters you probably never heard of. I could probably pretty much guarantee you that because there are way more boxers than there are boxers we talk about or boxers that you know about. I don't care how much you study boxing. You haven't watched everybody. You haven't seen everybody. You don't know everybody. But y'all act like y'all don't understand that. A fighter is say fighters ducking them. 
Shakur, like I say, man, I hate to do this, man, because this is my guy. Shakur Stevenson says everybody's ducking him, but he's a free agent right now and is not going to go right where the smoke's at. You know how you could prevent everybody from ducking you? By going to where the fighters are to give them no excuse to duck you? Jerron Ennis ain't out here capping on people. He's pretty popular. He's getting pretty popular. He's not doing all that capping. He's not doing it. Why? Because the skills speak for itself. We still going to wind up supporting him. David Benavidez don't do all that capping. I don't think I caught David Benavidez in one law yet. I don't think I ever heard David Benavidez downplay another fighter besides talk about Canelo not wanting to fight him, which we all know is true. He ain't had to do that. Abdullah Mason ain't talking crazy about people to get us talking about him. He ain't have to do that. We talking about Abdullah Mason because we impressed by what we saw. Y'all say y'all love boxing, but then act like y'all don't know about the business of it. And act like promoters are supposed to just do things because you want them to do it. You don't love boxing. Then. You're, you're thinking with a kid's not mindset and not, not an adult. And last time I checked, we are adults. You know as an adult, money come first. You know that. So when you try to say, I don't care about the numbers, I don't care about the money then you're not a man who's thinking logical or rational. How can you say you want to see a fight and you love the sport, but you don't care if the boxers get paid, what they get paid, how they get paid? So they're supposed to just take any deal because you want to see him fight X, Y, and Z? But you wouldn't do that in your real life. Fighters that go out here and act like people are ducking them and saying everybody in the world is ducking them. And, and I'm not talking about Shakur right here because Shakur is not the only person that has done this because Shakur is not even doing it to the point where I don't think these guys are ducking them because I kind of do think they ducking them a little bit. Just a teensy winty. I kind of do think they ducking them. The problem is even Shakur knows and other fighters know, know that it's not that simple just to fight somebody. That the fighter don't got that say so. Even if he is Canelo or um, even if he is Canelo or Javante Davis. Because Canelo wanted to fight Jamal Charlo and PBC said, no. That happened, y'all. That's real. That happened. So it, 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 it just frustrates me, man, that y'all got to down other fighters and lie on other fighters just to make content, to, 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 to make an argument. Like, you making content and making an argument is more important than putting the truth out. The truth will always prevail, y'all. You ain't got a lie to kick it. Have y'all ever heard that? You ain't got a lie to kick it. Lomachenko don't even talk, and he get all the fights he want. Lomachenko don't barely talk. Canelo, on the, when he was on the up and coming, Canelo did not do all of this to get the fights that he wanted. People just wanted to see Canelo. The Mexican fan base was just behind him. He didn't have to lie and, and cap to get to where he is today. He didn't have to do it. Neither did Gervonta Davis. The two faces of boxing didn't have to do all this lying and capping to get where they are. You could say Canelo be lying and capping now. Yeah, he do, because he do be lying and capping now, because he's already there, though. That's the difference. I'm talking about actually the fans and actually getting up there. And guess what we do, even though Canelo does it now? We still hold Canelo accountable, and everybody say he ducking David Benavidez, and it's crazy that he won $200 million and ducked David Benavidez. We all talk about this. He's not just getting away with it. It's just that the Mexican fans don't care, and Canelo knows that, so Canelo can do whatever he want to do. He going to sell four, five, six 600,000 pay-per-views fighting me. That's just a fact. So he's put in a position where he don't have to care, which I'll say, because his resume is so stacked in the first 50 fights of his career <laughs> that he don't. it doesn't matter, to be honest. But when we go with these narratives, like we don't know that contracts exist. When we run with these narratives, like we don't know that people get hurt, that people get suspended, that sanctioning bodies play a part, that commissions play a part, that managers play a part, that agents play a part, that 
who a guy like we act like we don't understand all of those things play just fight but then get mad at people that tell fighters to go into the best position that will make them be able to do the fight we get backlash for that the hypocrisy at its finest y'all tired of the narratives i'm tired of the false stuff in boxing and this is why i attack everything so hard and be very consistent because you can't say you love boxing but you don't love every aspect of it you can't say you love basketball but then talk about you don't care if steph curry get paid what he's deserved or not you can't have it both ways you can't have your cake and eat it too you can't want all of these mega fights but then get mad at the fighters for caring about the bag when it comes to the mega fight. Y'all be asking fighters and people to do things that you wouldn't do. And that's why I get mad at fighters for going out here to the public and acting like they don't know better. When I know that they know better. Because behind the scenes, they act like they know better. Shakur Stevenson was saying everybody was ducking him when he was at top rank. When he left top rank, what did he say? No, nah, I don't think it's so much that that the fighters is ducking me. I think it's more about how top rank was promoting me because I wasn't willing to resign them. That is the call, the business of boxing. That is called the business of boxing. And that, ha that has, and that always will come first. Before there could be a fight, there has to be a conversation and a contract. Before it could be a contract, Fighters got to know that they're in position. They got to be available to even fight first because you can't just, it, it's more nuanced than you think it is. And then before you do all that, you got to make sure you run it by the actual networks that's going to be airing the fights to see if they're okay with it. Because they may not want to do that on that date. They may want to do that on this date. The promoter don't got a choice in that point. In that part, if Amazon go to PBC and say, yeah, we know y'all want to put Javante Davis on, on and, and Shakur Stevenson on for the springtime, but we don't want that in the springtime. We think it'll do better numbers in the summertime, so we need y'all to make that fight happen in the summer if it's going to happen. There will be nothing nobody could say or do to change that. Javante Davis was supposed to fight at one date, if y'all remember. Javante Davis was supposed to fight on June 22nd. He wasn't supposed to fight on June 15th. Why did he change the date to June 15th? Because Amazon understood that's the business of boxing. That's Father's Day weekend. That's Juneteenth. Two black fighters. We are much rather have it on this date. Y'all already know what this is, right? Ding. By. Any. Means. And I holla at y'all.